Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye and the Patreon link in the description if you want to support me that way. Otherwise, just keep watching the videos. That does a whole ton of supporting in itself. So thank you so much for all that. Now let's get started with this video. Uh, I did mess it up. I already made this video, but I accidentally deleted it. So if you're seeing any weird code stuff, let me know. I'll go through the code here as it is, and maybe you'll see if there's any difference. I did try to revert it as well as I could, but just check these files out and see that you have the same. And you should have. You should have. I, I, it wasn't that many changes. But we'll go through it again. I'll get a chance to explain it a little better for you guys. So just check out these files. Just make sure everything looks all right here. I didn't change anything in game, so it shouldn't be a problem. GUI didn't change anything. Character, I changed this function. So hopefully that should be fine. Uh, if it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Just follow on in this one and we'll get it all sorted out. Write to me in the description otherwise. So let's start here. I did fix these. So I went in and changed these to GUI.get input int instead. And I said input here. And of course, we're going to put that over there as soon as it stops lagging. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, do this, put it there. So now we'll have an error check here as well in our selecting characters. Otherwise, it's going to crash for you. So make sure you use this get input thing everywhere where you're getting input. In our main menu, we already have that I'm pretty sure here input int yes so but in state game we did not have it so I'm just gonna put that here boom and now you have that error checking there as well let me run this to make sure it does work properly before we do anything so new game so step one let's go to our main menu state and let's see what we're doing here so if our active character is null then there is an issue here right we can't really go in Let's see how we select our character first of all in here active character. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have that set and then we will save that in our active character. Now we need to send this to our game state so that we can use that character in that game state. Okay, let's go up here and let's see in our state game. We have an array list character list. Now, obviously, we don't need a character list here. We only need a character. So I'm going to do a character character and put this as a protected like that now we're not calling this active character because I mean, it doesn't make sense in the game and it's going to be annoying to write active character all the time you're just going to have one character in here anyway so we're going to just call it character although here we're not going to call it just character we're going to call it active character active character this character equals active character simple as that so in these lines we have basically set our active character we should be able to print out their data in here uh, but for that we need an option so this is gonna be this is gonna be character stats and this will display or print our character stats for us so we'll make a case on that in the options here Brock break and a good tip while you're coding is to make a lot of these functions where you can print out nice data about your character about the game where you can visually see it in the game it's very important because then you can keep track of what's happening with all the variables without having to go out and writing a lot of c outs and prints out here so that's a good way to do it let's do a this character dot two string because we have a two string actually in our character class, we have defined one of these, but all it does is print the name, right? So for now, that will be enough. We'll just print our name. Am I even recording right now? Yeah, okay. So we'll just print our name. Very simple. Let's run this. Let's create a new character. And then, okay, yeah. So new game isn't going to work, obviously, because we need to make sure in our main menu that we actually push the state. So sorry about that. Let's push the state. Let's copy this from the process input. Let's copy this state character creator and paste that in the start game. 
And here we're going to do state game instead. And remember, now we don't want our character list going in here. We want this active character going in here. And once we push this, we should get a new game. So now I'm going to do it really quickly here. Uh, something like that. And then select the character and then play a new game. So now we have our new game. You see it's game state. And we can actually just print out. Hopefully we can print out our character stats here. And obviously we need console dot right line here to print that out. And then you'll be able to see your character name. And this will work. You can try that. I'm not going to run the game again, but you can try that. That will work. Now we have a setup here where we can send in our active character into the game. We don't need the whole list. And we can use that character here and man manipulate that character as required. So this is very good. Now we have everything set up basically to run. But what we don't have is we don't really have a good two string function here because all I'm seeing is the name. I don't want that. I want to see the name. I want to see the description. I want to see the level and the exp at least from this two string. So we're going to make one. We're going to make a string and we're going to add some stuff to it. And then we're going to return the string right here. Simple, right? And I'm going to show you a nice way to manipulate the string. You want to do a dollar sign, a dollar sign like that. And this will make a string where you can add your variables in here easily. And then just incorporate them into the string. So I'm going to do this name and say maybe name and then tabs, two tabs. And then this name. Good. And we'll do a new line after that. And do an enter. Now it's going to give me another line to write on. You see that? So it added a plus automatically. It added a new line where I can add more stuff. I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Paste it here. And instead of name, I want description. Remove a tab maybe since this is long. Might not need two tabs here. Description. Add a new one, paste it. Now, what did I say? We have a lot of things here that we can use. Level, attribute points, exp. But I'm just going to do level, attribute points, and exp. And then I'm going to skip all of these other things for now. Uh, let's do a level like that. Two tabs might be good. Level. This is tedious work, right? Uh, attribute. Uh, at points like that maybe something like that and then we'll do exp might not need two tabs here either exp and we're going to do a little different here we're going to say exp and then add a thingy like that and another exp max so now it will be a nice kind of a out of you know zero out of 100 if that's the max and that will be really cool for us now we have pretty much some more information that we can use here for our character and that is amazing obviously in the main menu also where we're printing out our title everything printing out the menu we want some kind of a top partition where we can show the active character what is the active character right now and to do that, very simply, I'm just going to print out for now, I'm just going to print this out, uh, the name of the character. And to do that, we obviously already overrode the two string function here, but I'm going to just make a new one called public. And then let's see, get name. We should already have a get name, right? No, we don't have a get name. So I'm going to do a get name or a get or just name string name like that. And we're going to print out return this name. Simple. And we're going to do getters and setters for these, the ones we really need. But for now, we probably just need this one. I'm going to put it a little further up as well, like right above here like that 
So now we can get the name. That's all I want right now. Now let's go to our main menu and say while we're updating, we're getting the input right up here. Let's make a console.writeLine this active character dot name. If this active character null, we're just going to write the name and then do a new line or we can just do this actually write line active character boom plus and then a plus extra new line here always good good now we can see the active character now let's just run this one time to see everything's working we don't have an active character can't play the game make a new character now you'll see hopefully you should be able to see the once we select the character zero here okay now it printed out everything else as well but whatever now you can see the active character is this one and we'll play the game and we can print out the character stats you'll see a lot of stats about the character very simple very nice and very easy to do there we go guys that's it for this video sorry for the bosh stuff video it was kind of wasn't the best one uh but hopefully we got all the errors fixed everything i did in the last deleted video hopefully we did it redid it here uh, but thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me check out the description box and all that and drop a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one right bye bye